Sorry, it's my dog. He's. Oh, sh can we see him? Say hello. What's his name? Eric. Hi, Eric. Oh, you have a little pug. So no, cute. he's not a pug. He's a French bulldog. <laughs> oh my God, look at his face. Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're safe and well. Welcome to The Love and Show. Usually we're here, we have guests in the studio, but of course we're living in an extraordinary time as uh, so what we're doing is we're doing Zoom calls, we're practicing social distancing. So for the very first time, we have a guest on Zoom right here. We are joined by Rob Sharp. So Rob Sharp is a Dubai-based lifestyle and fitness coach. He's got his own training Sharp app. Uh, which actually encourages home workouts. So Rob Sharp, welcome to the show. We're so excited for our first Zoom call. How are you doing? Hello. Hi, it's nice to actually um, speak to someone. I've been on isolation for a few days. Oh my God. Oh, so where, where are you isolating? No, I'm, I live in the ranches, Arabian ranches. But um, yeah, I'm not sort of, we're isolating ourselves, obviously, because I've got a newborn baby, so. Um, yeah, it's nice to be on the show. Thanks for inviting me on. It's a little bit strange talking to the laptop, but um, yeah, let's hope we can get a message out to the uh, the viewers today um, and some, some handy advice. This is it. So I think this is a really good time. But first of all, can we get a bit of background about you? How long have you lived in Dubai and what exactly do you do? Yeah, so basically in a nutshell, I've been in Dubai for eight years. So it's coming up my ninth year now. Um, I've been in the fitness industry for... 13 years, um, started my career in London, then moving to Dubai and starting my own uh, fitness business. Mm -hmm. From there, I started getting into sort of um, physique competitions, uh, fitness modeling, working with men's health, Under Armour, um, and doing a lot of collaborations with supplement companies. Um, cut a long story short, um, recently I've sort of delved into the fashion industry and created my own app. Mm -hmm. So I've got a fashion brand, a performance and lifestyle brand called uh, Pate. And also recently just launched my app, Train Sharp. Um, so yeah, this last, and I've had a baby last year. So this last year and a half has been yeah, quite hectic. And now 2020 is, was supposed to start all brilliantly and going to skyrocket. Yeah. Obviously, um, Not just myself, but everyone we know we're in the same boat. It's um, not started great. So, um, yeah, that's that's how we have it, basically. So, It's a bit of an awkward um, time. Yeah, I mean, you have a lot going on. We're definitely going to talk about your Train Sharp mm -hmm. app. Uh, but tell us briefly for you, someone who's really involved in fitness, how has life changed for you in the last few weeks? Um, so for me, obviously, I also one-on-one -on -one coach people. Mm -hmm. which I've stopped now, obviously. I know a lot of people are still doing it, but I have a, have a newborn baby and, and you know, a family to look after. And I've stopped all the one-on-one -on -one coaching for obviously obvious reasons. Um, yeah, it has. It's very strange to get used to it because I'm used to training inside a gym, you know, heavy lifting. Um, I'm always motivated to train five, six times a day. But now, I don't know if you can see, I have like a... You, have you're like a set little, up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how it sort of system in my garden uh -huh. but it did take me two or three days even myself you know I've, I've been training for like, even two three days to be like oh I've got to go in the garden now I motivate myself and train how I'm not used to train so but I'm used to it now I get up um, I try and go for a run again it's quite positive because I never used to run unless I played football so now I'm running uh -huh. 5k and then I'm into the garden and training um so yeah it's a big um it's a big lifestyle change but um you know we have to find a solution for that and, and sort of keep positive this is it so i think it's a really good time to be talking to you because obviously you have the train sharp app which encourages yeah. at home workouts but let's say for example like i live in a small apartment it's not big yeah. how realistic is it to fit in and i don't have equipment i guess i could go and source it but how realistic is it to get a workout in even once a day, once a day, once a week. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that, that's the thing. Some people have gardens, don't they? Some people have bigger flats. Some people have like a, just a dining area. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's really, I mean, you can go into the hallway of your flat, you know. There's I, have, I have a balcony, like there's space there, but I, you know, yeah, like, it's mental I mean, as well. Of, 
yeah, exactly. But it is hard to get up for, isn't it? When you're in the, when you're in your tiny little living room and you're that's where you normally sit and watch TV. The last thing you do is going to crack out a workout and start sweating. It's quite hard to motivate yourself. Exactly. But it's yeah, it's, it's extremely possible. But what I would suggest is this time we're in now. It's not just about training, keeping fit. It's about keeping in a routine as well. If you're mm-hmm. staying at home, you know some of your viewers, you know they're in the UK and stuff. It's not just in Dubai. Mm-hmm. We're not in lockdown yet, but I think it will come to that. For example, you need to you need to keep into your routine. I mean, if you're if you're at home all day, wake up normal like you would if you're going to work. Wake up at six, do your routine, go for a walk, come back home, have your breakfast, and then get ready and wash like you normally would to go to work without putting your suit on, obviously, to sit at home. Yeah. Um, keeping that routine, you know, and trying to stay positive, and then find a solution for you know your business, your family, your career. Um, and just stay positive. Yeah. But um, in terms of the training, um, we'll talk about my app in a minute. But that's, that's what I advise people to do: is is keeping that routine. We need to stick to our routines rather than waking up at nine, slouching around the sofa, watching Netflix. That's just going to last all day, all week. You're going to become very. Then you're going to watch the news at night time and become even more depressed. Yeah. So I think get early and keep into your routine. Um, and even your workout, stick to a time like two, three o'clock, stick to that time and work everything around it. Um, and yeah, just find, just find a routine and keep to it. This is it, because I think when the work from home has come in so gradually that people aren't really, it, it's going to take time to adjust. And as we realize that it's not going to be a one or two week thing, this could be a one month or two month thing, then it's more important to, Nobody knows it. yeah. So it's more. Nobody knows <laughs> It's more important. It's more important now. I'm just like copying what you were saying. It's more important to get into that routine. Um, yeah. But and and if I like, let's say for Train Sharp, how what exactly? How does it work? Um, and what are you kind of encouraging on the app? So basically, um, Train Sharp app is iOS. It's on the iTunes Store. Train Sharp. Um, it's a home workout training app. Well, it's actually got it's actually got other training programs on there, but most of it's in the gym. And obviously now we haven't got a lot of equipment. So last week, actually three days ago, I added a home workout four week edition. Cool. So you log into the app, you'll put all your details in. You'll also be given a nutritional plan, and then your four week home edition workout. So, yeah, going back to your question, you can train at home. Yeah, exactly. It's enough room. in the living room um, through the app. Um, and the app is also personalized from what um, information you put into the app. Mm-hmm. And it also has the live chat, which is probably the biggest, the biggest sort of factor of the app because the live chat has access to me and sort of my team. If you need anything personalized or any questions answered, some, someone's always there to answer. If you need alternatives in your food plan, Questions like you asked me before, you know, how much space do I need? Yeah. Um, so it's very personalized. And I actually, because of the circumstances we're all in now, I actually halved the price yesterday. It was, I think it was like $2.80 a day. And I've halved that now. It's like 80 cents a day to join it. Because, um, well, is- yeah, I want to sort of create a bit of a community, you know, and get people on the private Facebook group and, do some lives on the private Facebook and some home workouts in my, my new gym. <laughs> get you, um, get you going. This is cool. Like I like the live, <laughs> the live, oh, sorry, that was a bit loud. Apologies guys. I like the live chat feature because I feel like we're all sitting at home. We have so many questions, so it's great to be able to reach out to someone in a personal way. Um, but you so, met, you mentioned nutrition as well. And we were talking about suppl- in terms of supplements, Uh, they're huge in some fitness communities. Are you a fan of supplements? Um, so yeah, it's a good thing, good question actually, because a lot of people have been posting their their vitamins and their their vitamin D and their garlic tablets and their immunity special boosters, because obviously the market now is really trying to push all these sort of things, right? Yeah. Because it's probably yeah, we've never experienced what we're going through now. But I mean, I'm not a doctor, by the way. But um, basically, these immune things. then they won't stop you getting a virus, uh-huh. yeah? Some of the healthiest people in the world have just got viruses, some professional athletes. No matter how good your immunity is, 
um, you'll still you'll still get a virus. So I mean, taking all these vitamin C, it's, it's not going to do much. So don't go out and spend loads of money on all these sort of things. Mm-hmm. It's not going to save you from the virus, unfortunately. Okay. So in terms of supplements, you're not recommending them. But back to nutrition, I kind of want to talk about. First of all, we'll talk about meals and things. But first, snacks because we're all living it. If we're working from home, it's like. nearly like natural for me to grab a pack of biscuits grab some nuts alan is like yes like can we snack and what can we snack yeah. on <laughs> what how much is too much when we're talking about snacking as well i mean that's a very um broad, broad. question because, um <laughs> snacking in food i mean let's say for example your goal is to not get fat Right, it's everyone's goal is not to put on a little bit of timber. Stay strong. <laughs> yeah, stay strong. But um, it's all about calories in versus calories out. Okay, so you need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. I mean, it doesn't matter what you snack on, but if you're snacking on too many of those things and you're exceeding your daily energy expenditure, you're going to put on weight. Mm. Yeah. So again, it's very easy to sit at the laptop and do your work, grab nuts. Grab fruits, biscuits, protein bars, chocolate cake. Yeah, yeah <laughs> anything, Just everything there. But um, it's all about not overeating these things. Everything in moderation. So obviously, you like your things like nuts, fruits. They're excellent, but just limit your portion sizes. Yeah. You know, a whole handful of nuts. can be up to like three, four hundred calories. You can, you can really. Uh, this is yeah, the this is the problem. Because you think yeah. that these uh, nuts are healthy, but like, say for example, mm-hmm. moving on to kind of like your broader meal. I don't want to get into panic buying, of course, because I'm hating seeing uh, empty shelves in other countries. Thank God we're not seeing it as much in the UAE. But if you were for just key essentials, have we frozen? Sorry. One second, if you could hear me, I think we've frozen. Guys, this is our first time trying a Zoom call, by the way, our live interview. So uh, if there is lagging, oh, we're back. Can you hear me? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So I was just saying, if you're stocking your fridge with key essentials, um, what are you buying? I I have oats. You know, oats obviously last a long time. They're very easy to get. Yeah. Um, like uh, Greek yogurt. Actually, going back to your supplement question, I do actually have. whey protein powder because it lasts and ah. without being too, without being too negative we do go on lockdown and we can't go out yeah oats and whey protein do not go off so oh. that'd be my and pin stuff you know like tuna um rice um your things like you said your nuts your fruits um you don't really need to change anything really i mean it's not like we're we're not going to see a light of day again <laughs> yeah. but just keep yourself Just keep yourself five, six days ahead of yourself, you know. Exactly. Um, but yeah, stick to things that do last longer. If you're going out buying like, you know, fresh chicken and you're not fe- freezing it and things like that, I mean, it's 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 common sense sometimes, but yeah, just don't overeat these things. It's very easy to very easy to get and put weight on by eating healthy food. So just um, everything in moderation. Yeah, I reckon a lot of people are panic buying. Oh. Sorry? Don't, don't go to the shop and buy loads of stuff. I mean, there's going to be enough for everyone. Just uh, be a bit thoughtful, you know? Very thoughtful shopping, 100%. And I reckon people are going to the shop, panic buying, and then eating it all in a day. But that's a whole other story. But, um, yeah, it's another thing. If my cupboards are full with all, like, biscuits and goodies, it's only going to last one day for me. Like, almond butter in the fridge, it's going to be gone in two days, so... 100%. Um, yeah, modern. So when I asked you about different types of food, you kind of mentioned a variety of uh, food types. So I wanted to ask you about diets. So there's a lot of famous diets, veganism, vegetarianism, uh, Atkins. Yeah. Um, what kind of diet would you recommend? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's sustainable to continue on one? Or would you recommend a more balanced approach to eating? So, yeah, it's a big question, and a lot of people are quite confused about this topic, aren't they? Mm-hmm. But, um, sorry, it's my dog. He's... Oh, can we see him? Say hello. What's his name? Eric. Hi, Eric. Oh, you have a little pug. So no, cute. he's not a pug. He's a French bulldog. 
<laughs> oh my god, look at his face. Very cute. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so obviously that question, this is what a lot of people are confused about. And mm. these are what I call sort of fad diets, you know, intimate fasting, keto, veganism, everybody's jumping on this bandwagon. Um, but all, the, all these diets are governed by calories, yeah? So if you've got 2,000 calories to hit a day, your body doesn't know whether you're going keto, intimate fasting, vegan. These are all fad diets. I mean, they work for some people, mm-hmm. and, um, and they don't. But everything's governed by calorie intake, okay? Um, so my advice would be have a, have a well-balanced nutrition, mm-hmm. a well-balanced diet, you know? 85% whole foods, 15% processed, 5% junk. Um, there's no need to complicate it and try and get keto and try and fast for 16 days. And um, it just complicates things. People can't even um, people can't even stick to a normal regime, let alone trying to weigh 85% fats and then fast and then everything fats and cook all vegetables. I mean, you're just uh, you're just confusing everything. Just keep it um, just keep it moderate. I think this is what happens in the last like 10, 20 years. There's just been an oversaturation of diets, of meal plans, and it's very confusing. So what you're saying is just keep it simple. Well, 50 years ago, there was no, there was no, um, no fad diets. 50 years ago, everyone was actually quite slim back in the 70s and 80s. Mm-hmm. No one was obese or suffered from inflammation and PCOS. So, yeah, exactly. There's a lot of extremes, um, but it's great to talk to someone who's staying motivated. It's amazing to see your gym is in your back guard, garden. It's been a week now since we've kind of been dealing with this, and I need to, from your thoughts, probably motivate myself a little bit. Thank you for putting us through. So the last question, dream dinner table situation. If you could have three people dead or alive with you for dinner, who would they be? Oh, wow. Well, um, so obviously being a bit of a sports fanatic, it'd have to be... Mike Tyson, mm-hmm. um, Roy Keane. Interesting. He's from your, he's from your country, actually. He might be fun. <laughs> And um, probably Gary V, because I've been in the last sort of year or so, I've been learning a lot for his content. So I think that would be quite an interesting uh, dinner party. That's interesting. I feel like that's very fitting in terms of like the motivation, fitness, lifestyle fits right in. <laughs> yeah. Um, Okay, amazing. Um, Rob, this was Rob Sharp. Thank you very much for uh, staying with us through our first episode of The Love and Show on a Zoom call. Um, stay safe with your family and we will chat to you soon. Thanks a lot for having me, guys. I'll speak to you soon um, and take care, everybody. Stay safe, guys. We'll be back next week, same time, same place. See you then. Bye.